what is up you guys um today i wanted to do this haul with you um and i'm doing it on youtube because it'll be too big for tiktok so um i went over to the new asian market that they put up today um in tulsa and it's a supermarket so it's really really big um and they had a bunch of stuff my snacks are falling Okay, so first we're going to start off with the beverages. I'm a beverage kind of gal, if you know me in real life. I usually have anywhere from like two to four drinks at a time, but I like to stay hydrated. It's good. Good for your skin. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and start with all of those first. So the first thing I nabbed here is this little tasty peach drink. And um, I didn't realize it at first, but then I was reading it. And it's actually an alcoholic beverage, so I'll be excited to try that one. The next thing are these Nigori Strawberry Sakes. These things are so good. They are so hard to find at my liquor store. Sometimes they'll have them, sometimes they don't. It just depends. I guess it's really hard to get them, um, but they're so good I grabbed three of them. And if you have not tried one yet, I strongly suggest you do. Last alcoholic beverage is some Sapporo. Some good old Sapporo. Non-alcoholic beverages include Calpico. Calpico, I miss this so much. And it's so hard to find this here for some reason, but this stuff is so good. We've got some Thai tea. Just pick this up to try it. We've got some milk tea because I absolutely love milk tea. I'm a milk tea baddie. Any place I go, bubble tea place, I will always try the milk tea. And then lastly, we've got some um, royal milk peach tea. You just pour these into some uh, warm milk, I believe, and she's ready to go. Next, I think that was all the beverages. Next, I think we are gonna go into the noodles because we got quite a bit of noodles, but who doesn't love a good noodle? Fun fact, when I was a kid, I actually used to hate pasta and noodles. What was wrong with me? All right, let us begin the noodle portion of our unbagging slash unboxing haul. I don't know, haul. The noodle portion of our haul there we go okay the first one i've got is this tom yum shrimp flavor ramen tom yum tom yum is so good if you have any um restaurants near you that serve it absolutely try it authentically because i'm gonna be making that not nearly as good the next is a shoyu tonkotsu flavor ramen which Tonkotsu is very good. That's one of my favorite flavors of ramen, actually. Miso and tonkotsu, probably. I didn't even realize I got a miso, miso, tonkotsu flavor ramen as well. Like I said, my two favorite flavors. Um, I got some uh, tonkotsu ramen, just a different brand, and then another, another miso tonkotsu and another brand as well. We got some um, bulgogi udon, um, I think some lazy noodles, which is also udon, I believe, and then some chicken udon. And then I have been <laughs> trying to recreate this dish for so long. Since I have gone over to Japan, um, I've been trying to find the exact like what they used exactly over there because there are recipes that you can make and I have tried to make them to no avail. And this time I can feel it in my bones. This time it is going to be accurate. I got the egg noodles because you have to use egg noodles. And I got the cold noodle soup base, cold noodle soup. If you have never had cold noodle soup, like traditional cold noodle soup. If you like ramen, soup in general, anything noodles, please just do yourself the favor of living a happy life and trying this. If you live in Tulsa, 
Okay, so the other things that I got that were like the soup base, just like little bits and pieces that I need for dishes. Um, I got some um, nori, some seaweed for a kake for my rice. I got some dumpling sauce because I nabbed a few dumplings while I was there. I got some puck stickers, some um, soup dumplings, some chicken dumplings, I think. Um, but we got like four different kinds, I think. So dumpling sauce is a must need. And then of course, I had to grab some Q-Pie mayo because duh, you need that for all of the good snacks. And of course they had a bunch of cute little dishes and things there and like bowls and um, sake holders and chopsticks. I picked these ones out. And the baby picked these ones out. Aren't these ones so pretty? So pretty. You can never have too many chopsticks because you'll end up losing half of them by the end of the year anyways. Okay, I tried to quickly get through the part that nobody wanted to see because <laughs> I saved the best part for last. All of the snacks that everybody always asks me about. So, let's begin. I'm gonna start this way or on this side and go this way. So first we've got some cocoa rolls, some little chocolate um, pastry rolls, a mato chocolate fish, Some cookies, almond cookies, chocolate wafers, strawberry wafers, seaweed chips, Mexican chicken tomato chips, sweet chili soup chips. If you are not super involved in Japanese snack culture, you probably don't know what these are, but let me be the first to tell you that these things giant delicious cheesy puffs of corn And then of course, squid, because if you know, you know. Peas and cream Kit Kats, some um, vanilla crepe wafer Kit Kats, and some cookie, or digestible cookie Kit Kats, digestible cookie, regular cookie, Biscoff cookie, a cookie Kit Kat, but these things are very good. This cute little pre-cure cookie sticker pack thing that they had. I thought this was so cute. These super cute Hello Kitty tea cake cookies. Um, this one is a butter cookie and I think these ones are Earl Grey tea cookies. But look how cute the tins are. You could use these after too. Undeniably the best high chew flavors that exist. The Fantasy and then the Calpico high chews, which, duh. It's like yogurt high chews. You can't change my mind that these are not the best high chew flavors that exist. I should have gotten more, but I'm supposed to be on a diet. And as you can see, I'm already failing. And then last but not least, this Hello Kitty French cookie box that has strawberry, vanilla, coffee, and then either mint or matcha um, cookies in here. And then, that is finally everything. <laughs> uh, I think we spent like $200, I believe, $260. It was like 200, maybe almost $300, I believe. Um, it was quite a bit, um, but it was a haul. It was a grand opening. 
So, everything in there was around like, like the most expensive thing that I think we got was this, which was fourteen fifty. So everything in there was about five, four, three, four or five dollars. But yeah, if you have any questions about anything, um, if you want me to tell you how anything tastes, if you want a review on anything, if you have any questions about recipes or where I find like new trends um, for snacks and stuff like that, at, just leave a comment or let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is kind of like a hot mess and everywhere, but there was just so much stuff and I wanted to make sure to get through it as quickly as possible. So this video was not um, like an hour long. So uh, again, thank you. Leave a comment, subscribe, like, say hi. I'll always say hi back. Bye.